What's going on, everybody? Alex here from the Football Guys, ready to talk about why Brandon Ayuk will be a league winner this year and this during this year in fantasy. Obviously, the start to the season was not good. It was terrible, but we've seen some signs for improvements. So that's why we're here to break it all down nice and quick for you. So Brandon Ayuk obviously was pretty frustrating to start off the season. He had one game above 10 points in his first eight weeks, but two of his last three games, he's been over 15 half PPR points. So, I mean, where did it start? So he started in the doghouse all summer. Kyle Shanahan was not happy with his practicing, said he was kind of coasting along, not doing his best, and his playing time showed. I mean, this was especially frustrating after with Matt Harmon's reception perception. He said Brandon Ayuk was his biggest riser. I mean, this guy was the wide receiver 16 in points per game last year. And with Matt Harmon's reception perception, he said that he was one of the better route runners in the league. Going into his sophomore year, we expected big things. We were drafting him high. And then look at his playing time going forward. So in week one, he played 47% of the snaps. Week two, 54% of the snaps. Week three, he jumped up to 86% of the snaps, had his best game of the season so far. And then he went back down to 67%, 71%, 71%. And this is where we started to see a turn. Week eight, he played 88% of the snaps. Week nine is where he played a season best 93% of the snaps, had his first 15 plus half PPR point game. And we said, why is this happening all of a sudden? Why is he all of a sudden playing good snaps? Well, it came out in a, a art, sorry in an article by The Athletic saying that teammates and coaches alike were commending Brandon Ayuk's practice habits, his hard work, his commitment after a season best performance. I mean, again, this is a guy that was really good last year. He was the wide receiver 16 points per game. So we started to see a turn. And it's nice to see that not only was he just making a turn and it wasn't like they were playing him just because they had to play him. His coaches, his teammates, and everyone else alike was saying that he was really committed after that. And so in week nine, he played 93% of the snaps. Week 10, he played 90% of the snaps. In this past week, in week 11, he played 93% of the snaps, which is what we love to see. But obviously, it's not all about snaps. It's about fantasy football performance, all of it when it comes down to it. And two out of the last three weeks, he's had 15 plus fantasy points. And you love to see it. But I think there's even more going forward that would suggest that Brandon Ayuk is a league winner. One, he's played 90 plus percent of the snaps in three straight weeks. Two, he's had his two of his best three performances over the last three weeks. The only performance where he struggled the last three weeks was against the Rams, one of the toughest defenses on football. But the reason why we're making this video is because he's going to be a league winner. And this is his schedule going down the stretch. First in week 12, he plays Minnesota, who have given the third most points to wide receivers this season, most over the last five weeks. Week 13, he plays the Seahawks, 18th most points given up to wide receivers. Okay, so-so, they're middle of the pack, but not a super tough matchup. Then week 14, he plays his toughest matchup left against the Cincinnati Bengals, who are 24th in points given up to wide receivers. Okay, that's kind of a tough matchup. But here's the reason why Brandon Ayuk is going to make a difference and win people leagues this year. In week 15, when some people's playoffs start, he plays the Atlanta Falcons, who have given up the seventh most points to wide receivers. That's great for Ayuk. Week 16, semifinals week, he plays the Tennessee Titans, who have given up the single most points to wide receivers. And in week 17, he plays the Houston Texans, ninth most points given up to wide receivers this season, and have given up the second most points to wide receivers over the last five weeks. His schedule is absolutely insane playing four teams that have given up the top 10 most points to wide receivers this season over the last four, sorry, four out of the last six games are top 10 matchups. And he doesn't have any super difficult matchups. That is wonderful. But there's more if you still don't believe. And that's what we've seen with even the effect that Ayuk has on Debo when he's playing. So first of all, Obviously, Debo Samuels had five and two targets over the last two weeks where Ayuk was 90 plus percent of the snaps. That is great for Ayuk and it's promising. Obviously, it's a small sample size, but we have a five game sample size this season when Ayuk plays 85 plus percent of the snaps and a five game sample size when Ayuk does not play 85 percent of the snaps and how that affects on Debo. So in Debo's five games without Ayuk playing 85 percent plus of the snaps, He's averaged 10.6 targets, 6.6 receptions, 119 yards, and five touchdowns. But in the five games where Ayuk actually played a lot, which has been the last four weeks, he's averaged only seven targets, 4.4 receptions, only 79.6 yards. It's a 40-yard decrease and three touchdowns. Brandon Ayuk is clearly having an effect on Debo Samuel. He's clearly taking away his playing time. 
and he has a great schedule going down for the rest of the season. I think that Brandon Ayuk is an absolute league winner. He has amazing matchups, a team that's passing a lot right now, and he's commanding targets away from some of the team's best players, and he's performing with both Debo Samuel and George Kittle playing. I think Brandon Ayuk is going to be a league winner down the stretch, and I think you guys need to be playing him in your lineups.